Open it. As the masterful third season of Black Sails has now came to a close, I take a look back at my top 10 moments from the season with some honourable mentions at the end. With the bounty placed over Charles's head and with help from Jack, they were able to manoeuvre a safe way for Vane out of the fort. And then, he was on his own. You knew there were going to be plenty of pirates looking to claim that sizeable bounty, and after fighting off a few of them, Vane was surrounded. That was until his backup arrived. <laughs> I am no backwater magistrate, cowering in fear of you. You know where to find me. As Flint and Woods came to meet for the very first time, Woods wanted to know what Flint was truly fighting for. He was offering him, and any man that had sailed under the black, a pardon, forgiveness, and everything that Flint was originally fighting for. But England had shown Flint her true face. She had killed Thomas, Miranda, and now wanted the island of Nassau, and Flint would never give up his home to her without a fight. As Anne, Flint and Vane all worked together in an attempt to recover Jack and the gems from the governor's hands, everything seemed to be going smoothly as planned. Jack was on his way back, as Vane was the final man ready to depart. But the governor arose injured from the wreck of the transport, shot Vane and thus beginning a fight to the death. And as Vane looked to have the advantage, the militia showed up to make sure that Woods Rogers would live to fight another day. Captain, our fleet is underway. Woods and the English had the entire Bay of Nassau under lockdown. No ship could get by the blockade, and those that tried risked being completely obliterated. So Teach had a plan. He needed to open a hole in that blockade, allowing him, Vane, and his fleet to safely sail away. And you see once again why he is a master tactician. He took the English fleet totally by surprise and in process of making that haul, destroyed a vital vessel in the English fleet. In one of my favourite scenes in Season 3, Silver along with Flint took the longboat across to a whale carcass. They were very quickly running out of rations for themselves and the crew, and were desperate for any resources that they could find. Unfortunately, the whale had completely rotted. 
but something else happened to be in the area which could give them exactly what they were after. That was if they were able to catch him. Again? They pledged to follow me when they thought I was alive. They turned when they thought I was gone. So I will come back from the dead and lay claim to what I am owed. This was one hell of an impressive speech. Flint knew he had only one shot at securing his and his crew's lives in trying to strike an accord between the pirates and slaves. And he hit the ball straight out of the park. And an agreement was set. Everyone knew that the veil for the island was coming down, and that sooner or later, the Queen and all of her people would have to face reality of what the English, or any other outsiders for that matter, could possibly do. But with Flint's plan, taking the fight to them, standing together, side by side, they might just stand a chance. Bring down Nassau. Maybe you bring it all down. Pull him back now! He will lead Captain Hornigold exactly where I ask him to. But from there, it's up to you. I'm splitting this one half and half as the clever cutaways mixed with the relentless action definitely deserve a mention. Silver learnt that he was one of a kind in that his crew both liked and feared him. His feet gave him the confidence in that he knew Dobbs, who was just given a critical mission, would do exactly what was asked of him. He lured the English along with Captain Hornigold exactly where he was supposed to, and the ambush was set. The combined tactics of both Flint and Silver worked to surprise their enemies. All what Flint had to do was finish the job. One, two, three. This fight was one of the best moments of the season and continued to prove that Black Sails can easily hang with the best in the business. It was Flint versus Blackbeard. Pistols then Swords was set to decide who would walk away with Vane and his crew. And after surprisingly beating Teach to the shot, Flint found he was only able to graze Teach's temple. That was when the tide of battle was only heading in one direction. Teach arose, angered, and began to overpower Flint with his sheer size and skill. But before he could land the decisive blow, Vane came to the rescue. He saved Flint before Teach could strike that fatal blow, and in doing so, made his decision to return to Nassau and fight for his home. <laughs> As Silver helped Flint rise from the ashes, a man whom was formerly under his captaincy stepped forward to confront him. Dufresne has always been a character who I could not wait to see the last of, and without question he chose the wrong time to try and cross John Silver. Silver knocked Dufresne down and literally stamped his authority onto his speech as well as his skull. Thanks for getting rid of him, Silver. I owe you one. Tomorrow you will join us, or you will all be looking over your shoulders the rest of your lives. My name is John Silver, and I've got a long fucking memory. We are many. 
They are few. To fear death is a choice. And they can't hang us all. And here we are at number one. In easily the most powerful scene of the season, and probably the show to date, was the hanging of Charles Vane. After silently nodding to Billy, telling him to stand down, Charles Vane delivered a moving speech designed in rising up a rebellion. It was a shocking moment that I never saw coming. He wasn't afraid of what was next. He was ready for what was to come. It was his choice, his sacrifice, as Charles Vane died for Nassau. Ready then, about to find the news? I know, just... Has at long last been Wait. And that God's will will be done again in Nassau. So there we are, they were my picks for the top 10 scenes in Black Sails Season 3. Now here are some honourable mentions that didn't make it into my top 10. With Flint knowing he had little to no choice, he sailed his crew straight into the ship killer storm. He knew Hornigold would back off eventually, expecting Flint and his men to be defeated by the sea. And that came very close to being the reality. The visual spectacle and tension throughout the whole segment was constant. Everyone's life was on the line, as the crew barely survived the encounter, but it wasn't without its losses. If no one, if this is defeat for me, then know this, you and I were neck and neck in this race right till the end. But Jesus, did I make up a lot of ground to catch you. I really enjoyed this speech from Jack. Throughout the span of their lives, Jack and Woods had taken drastically different paths. Jack had grown up at the side of his father, who was a tailor, whilst Woods had been privileged since the day he was born. Jack wanted to give him a piece of his mind, and let him know that if it were to be one of his final days, he made up a hell of a lot of ground in his life, to make sure that they were neck and neck until the very end. All you know about me is what I want you to know. He believes we are beneath him, tactically incompetent. I give him any reason to doubt it. To be underestimated. It's an incredible gift. After looking like he was beginning to warm to Jack, Teach listened to him. He raised the black, showing the English that it was pirates that were heading their way. The arrogance of the English fleet and its leaders is exactly what Jack was counting on. He knew the English believed themselves to be superior in combat and in their tactics, and with an expert like Teach at the helm, they were sure to be underestimated. And like Jack said, to be underestimated is an incredible gift. I've watched her follow madmen. I've watched her follow rich men. I've watched her bow before tyrants. But now, it's time she had a king. At the end of the finale, Billy had decided he had spent too much time relying on Flint being the only face of fear for the pirates. Now it was time to craft an alternative. Sending the black spot was met by ignorance at first, but the black spot is not something that you should be taking lightly. And after Billy and his men followed through on what the black spot promises, it started the beginning of a new legend and Billy could think of none better for the role than Long John Silver. Until then I remain Long 
John Silver. So there we are. That was my list for my favourite scenes in the third season of Black Sails. What did you make of it? Did I miss anything? And what were some of your favourite scenes from the season? Let me know down in the comments. If you're interested, check out some of my other Black Sails season reviews, for which I'll leave a link down in the description. Then as always, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. The governor in Nassau hung him in the square. On the island I helped to build. He thought he could do that, face no consequences. He failed to account for me.